Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Mark's Random Videos, and it would seem that you don't need to actually build a YouTube studio with all this sort of stuff in it, or to have a fancy vlogging camera in order to get a reasonable amount of views. No, nope, none of that's necessary. You don't need lighting. You don't need clever backgrounds or grey walls or any of that sort of stuff. All you need to actually do is go into your old workshop and talk about what people want to talk about, and that is quadcopters. By the way, I've put some new hooks up there so everything sits nicely. Uh, and yeah, there's a quadcopter. Not the sort that you want to talk about, though. What you guys want to talk about is nano long range. Woohoo! Here is my little nano long range project box. So, as you can see, I've pretty much completed this. I've flown it, it flies really nice. And this is my first remix of the nano long range. So this has the carbon fiber um, bottom plate on there. Same specs as you've seen in previous videos. It's got the Flywoo Goku F411, Rush Tiny Tank, Radio Master R81 in the front there. And of course the Flywoo Robu RB1202.5s. Now, you'll see that I've switched from bi-blade props to tri-blade props, if I can get my words out. And the reason for that is it gives you a lot more flexibility in terms of the battery that you fit. Now, at first, when I realized, and, and the reason that we've gone this route, I realized that the Flywoo Goku F411 does not support 1S. Um, it was just a flight controller I had laying around. I thought I would try it, you know, in the meantime, whilst I was waiting on the HGLRC, uh, as recommended by Dave C. And, uh, yeah, essentially, it didn't work at all on 1S, although the flywheel would boot up and you could configure it and all that stuff, it wouldn't actually fire up the motor, so it was no good for 1S. So the next option I went with was a GNB, 450 and I give it a quick fly with that 2s of course and it flew pretty well uh, I think at that point I still had the bow blades on it and then I thought I wonder if it would take a 3s 550 I had this 3s 550 laying around I actually usually use it to power my EV800Ds uh, so I tried it on this with the tri-blades, and it actually feels really nice. Now, I've not had a great amount of time to test it. Um, it has been extremely windy here in the UK over the weekend, but it feels just like one of these quads, you know, probably more like the Dead Cat Chimera 4, which you'll notice that I've now also put tri-blades on because I want to test that one out with tri-blades. This has got the higher KV4700 motors and eventually switch that to more of a freestyle focus build rather than long range. Uh, so yeah, that's effectively what I've done with this, is switch that to more of a freestyle type build, uh, despite having the dead cat frame of course, uh, rather than a long range. So this ended up in a strange place. This um, bottom piece does look like it's going to be considerably heavier, of course, than the original bottom piece that was designed for these, and we'll talk about what this is in a moment. Uh, but actually, when you remove the uh, 18650 holder from the equation, this is actually lighter. And this 550 battery is slightly lighter than a 1S18650. So what you're getting here is a 3S version of the Nano Long Range. You're getting 3S power. You're getting the same or slightly less weight overall than the original Nano Long Range design. Uh, and you're getting, you know, fantastic kind of uh, performance out of it, right? Um, because it's 3S with these motors performing really well. So I'm going to test it in a little bit more detail once we get uh, some more time. As you can see, there are a couple of scratches on there. So I have flown it around the garden and already crashed it. But, you know, good to see that it's a flexible solution that can use both a 2S450 and a 3S550. So 
two S550 is going to be no issues. But can you guess what else I flew this on? Answers in the comments if you got it beforehand. I'm going to tell you now. This flew with this on there, which is a 2S lithium ion. Now, I managed to flip it uh, with that on there, so it's not completely unfreestylable. Uh, I will say it is sluggish, and you can feel the weight. You know, this is double the weight that it was intended for. Or, well, slightly less than double if you take off the, the holder. But um, significantly more weight than this was designed for. But it flies okay. So, you know, if you want to do that high-capacity, long-range stuff, then with this remix, you still have that option. You know, we've got differences from the original. We've obviously got this carbon base plate on there. We've got standoffs where there weren't, weren't any standoffs before, but, you know, the height of the device or the height of the quadcopter is not that much larger. Uh, this has got a bigger cap on there. We've got the Rush Tiny Tank VTX on there with a crappy linear antenna, so I'm not that confident in huge ranges from this, but I do have another antenna on order for it. Uh, so this is, to all intents and purposes, a flexible, kind of freestyleable and nano long rangeable solution. Now, you know, you might say, well, why couldn't we just do that with the original Dave C build? I don't know if this this little filter that is essential for when you fly this on 1S is going to blow up if you put a 2S or a 3S in it. Now, I've only got two of these little um, DC to DC converters and the filters, so I'm not going to take the risk with them. But I bet if you set it up originally, per the, the Dave C design, apart from the fact that you're going to have an 18650 holder attached down on there, so you can't really fly with a different battery, I'm also fairly confident that these components would not survive 2 and 3S, and certainly the HGLRC recommended uh, flight controller, I'm pretty sure it's not good for 3S. Uh, it might be good for 2S, but what I found with the 2S450, this was a bit floaty. I actually prefer the way that it feels on the 3S550 with the weight it was designed for, because this 2S450 is roughly half the weight, about 26 grams, I think, off the top of my head, compared to 50 grams of this. And that 3S550, I think, sits about 46, 47 grams. So, you know, I think what we've achieved here is a, a very flexible, uh, not quite, you know, in line with the original design, of course, because you can't fly it on a 1S18650, but still a very flexible, cool little quad. Uh, and I'm really happy with it, so glad that I've gone down that route, but I did want to stay true to the original as much as possible, so I am rebuilding. I've ordered, you know, a true 3D printed frame again with a true base to fit in with the specification that Dave C originally put together. But I was planning one change, and that was to mount on there a Runcam 4 split. This is a 4K camera. One of my uh, subscribers actually pointed out that nano long range is fairly pointless without a decent camera. And I think I tend to agree with him. You know, you, you want to do long range type flying, then you want to have HD footage, because generally you're flying somewhere far away that you want to review the footage of later on, or you're flying somewhere scenic that you might not be able to get to on foot, therefore you want good quality video. Now, this run cam, of course, does not run on 1S, but I tested it last night and it runs perfectly well when connected to the 5 volt uh, DC to DC converter. So I ran that down to only about 3 volts because I didn't have the time to take it much lower. But the run cam stayed awake that whole time. So you would have to wire, you know, the run cam, the VTX. And, you know, I think you might as well put the receiver into this as well. Uh, I'm not too sure how low a TBS crossfire goes. And I am going to use a genuine TBS crossfire rather than the one kilometer Radio Master R81 that's in there. Uh, so, you know, space is now a concern. Uh, whilst we know that the Runcam 4K split does function, the problem is, are we going to have the space in there? I think we might just fit the HDLRC on top of it, 
it can't go underneath as the HGLRC flight controller obviously has a USB port on there. Uh, so that's going to be my next kind of big issue. I've got the second set of Flywheel Robo motors on the way. I've got the by blades here for the you know long range design. I've got the 18650 holder and it does just fit on there. You'll see that these really want to stick out in strange directions. You do need to put them under a little bit of pressure to get them through, but it does just fit on there with these um, holes that I've drilled in the bottom. And these are just cheap Amazon 18650 holders, but they are pretty decent in terms of holding the battery in. And what I've done is put a little bit of extra foam in there just so the battery can't move backwards or forwards within the holder and I'd advise that because what you don't want is whilst you're in the middle of flying for that 18650 to disconnect for some reason because you've just clipped a branch or had a small near miss so what are we waiting on HGLRC we need another rush tiny tank mini you know they're fairly cheap the HGLRC is on order the flywheel robos are on order but most of this stuff isn't going to come until mid-April from Banggood. And as I say, I'm quite concerned about fitting it all together with the run cam in there. Ultimately, might need to forsake the run cam uh, for the true Nano Long Range 1S build. If I do need to forsake the run cam, I'll probably put it in here. Because there's potentially enough space in here. Uh, to have that with the run cam. So uh, next video may be me going out and having a little fly with this one for those of you that are interested and in, in seeing further information about that. Uh, don't expect the full final update of this until I receive those parts from Banggood. And as I say, that's currently looking like middle of April uh, for the, the 1S flight controller. The Rush Tiny Tank Mini, easy enough, but the, the Flywheel Robos, again, are coming from Banggood. So please, Banggood, hurry up and ship me my stuff. In the meantime, goodbye. Nano Long Range. Well, to be honest, I'll take that out. I might even go and fly that tonight. All right, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching the latest update um, from Mark's Random Videos. Cheers. Bye.